Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So today is an impromptu, very impromptu video. So I was just thinking about what to do when you work in a job that doesn't necessarily or isn't necessarily accepting of stretched ears. I guess you could kind of sort of say my job is like that, but I still find ways around it. So I'm just gonna show you guys very quickly how to conceal your stretched ears if you happen to work a job that isn't accepting, as I said, of stretched ears or most body mods. So first, don't click out just yet. <laughs> This video is actually gonna be very, very obvious, but you just wanna buy plugs. Buy a bunch of plugs, not tunnels, not like what I have in my ears now, like tunnels, so if you guys are new, my ears are stretched to one inch, and I work a kinda corporate job, I guess you could say. I think I'm like the only alternative girl there, so that's fun, but yeah, as I said, I find ways around it, so, um, because I mean, a job's not gonna change you. Like, a job's not gonna change what you're into or anything like that, obviously. So either they work with you, you work with them, kinda. That's what this video is about, basically. Anyway, so you wanna buy a bunch of these, a bunch of plugs. I bought this set of, I think it comes with six, eight plugs uh, on Amazon. Any type of plug that you want in whatever style you want, in whatever size you want. So. As I said, I'm one inch, so of course I ordered myself a set of one inch plugs. And I just got these assorted, um, like, uh, damn, floral. Why couldn't I think of that? Floral print. So you just wanna buy, as I said, whatever pattern you want. Try to be mindful of the job. I cringe when I'm saying that because it's just like, I mean, yeah, you know, we need to go to work and make our living and, take care of our kids and whatnot but sometimes you got to do what you got to do at least for now until we get the hell up out of these places but anyway yeah so I got these I'm not super crazy about these in particular like they they screw on but they kind of screw on from the back so it's weird usually they screw off from the I mean they screw off from the front usually they screw off from the back so basically you just take out and usually I have in soft uh, silicone I guess they're silicone ones um, they're really comfortable so I usually have in those honestly as I said I they don't have like a written rule of you can't have stretched ears at my job but I know that it's kind of a corporate job I guess but of course most people don't know about stretched ears if you're not into alternative things altogether so yeah I still wear my silicone plugs I just wear the black ones so it's kind of concealed and usually my hair is down or like I keep you know my hair like this so it's not so obvious I don't wear the bright neon colors that I love to wear in them but you know it's just for work so basically you just pop them in so you'll see you guys will see what I mean but like these are they screw on from the front I mean, they screw off from the front, so you kind of have to put these particular ones in from the back. This out of the way. But yeah, you kind of have to like do one of these. There we go. And then, let's see, this is my trouble ear. It was the hardest one to stretch. It's kind of a tight ear, but so I just have to kind of. So basically, it looks like I just have a button earring in my ear as opposed to having a tunnel where you can clearly see through it. Um, yeah, so button, earring that just looks like a button and you know, whatever other piercings, if you feel comfortable wearing those, it's fine. I personally, I'm not taking those out. So uh, yeah, this is what I do. Simple, easy peasy, and you can pretty much get away with, 
I would say almost any size stretched ears. I say almost because if you're like two, three inches and your, your lobes are like really, really big, I mean, mine are big to a lot of people because people aren't used to stretched ears for the most part. Um, yeah, but they're not insanely big to me. They're only an inch, but again if you have like really big ears if you're like two inches and above i would say it probably will be a little harder but not probably it'll definitely be a lot harder to conceal but again it all depends on the type of work you do i just happen to think about this because i you know i just happen to think about it but yes if your ears are i would say my size one inch and below you can definitely get away with the plug method just the simple plug method no secret here I, I, listen I told you guys this wasn't gonna be any top secret information <laughs> I just happened to think of it and I figured I'd share it so yeah just buy plugs buy plugs but particularly plugs that have some kind of um, I guess toned down design or pattern based on where you work um, for me i actually like floral because i mean who's gonna argue with floral at my job so yeah i happen to get floral but get whatever you feel will work best with wherever you work so that's that i'm gonna take these out because um they're actually a little uncomfortable <laughs> As I said, it kind of sucks because I just bought these and I have a set of eight and they're pretty. They're really cute, but like, oh God, they're so annoying. Kind of hard to get off. They're annoying to stay in. Oh God, and they kind of hurt my ears. So back to the silicone. And the good thing about these are you can kind of stretch them or bend them, I should say, and just pop them back in. So yeah, but that's it. That's how you conceal almost any size stretched ear by using plugs, simple plugs that just have a fairly toned down design. Again, based on where you work. <laughs> so yes, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, do all the things, and I'll see you guys in the next one.